Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today is part two of uh, the video series. Well, it's not really a series, it's two parts. But it's part two of the video I started a couple weeks ago about the best games and apps that you can use while practicing your social distancing. Uh, this video is not anything like a, a countdown or anything like that. It doesn't go from best to worst or worst to best. Uh, you can watch them in any order. So I'll put a link uh, to part one up here so you can click on that. You can go watch that now and then watch this one. Or you can finish watching this one and then go back and watch that one. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Um, the only thing I will mention uh, at the beginning of this video that I also mentioned at the beginning of the other is all of these games are available on both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. So you can get them no matter what platform you're on. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. This time around, we start with Monument Valley 1 and 2. At their core, these are puzzle games. The twist here is the setting. It feels like you are navigating beautiful pieces of art. And these puzzles are all tied together with an engaging story. These are two of my all-time faves and well worth the $3.99 for each. If you happen to have a play pass, they are free, which makes them an absolute must play. If you like Monument Valley's artsy fartsy puzzle style, then you might also like Framed 1 and 2. In these rather unique games, you assist your in-game protagonist by rearranging the panels of a comic book. Like Monument Valley 1 and 2, these games are also $3.99 each, but free with play pass. Next up, if you need a Mario fix, then I highly recommend Super Mario Run. It plays for the most part like any other 2D Mario game, except Mario is always running across the screen. This automatic movement simplifies the gameplay, which I feel works well on a mobile platform. Word of warning though, this game presents itself as free, but it's actually $10 to unlock the full game. At least it's cool you can try it out for free. Obviously, if you are a fan of Mario, Mario Kart might be a good game to try. I haven't played this one a ton, but it seems like a fairly faithful reproduction of the original games from the consoles. And while there are in-app purchases, I feel like it is possible to enjoy the game without them. Staying on the racing theme, if you want the closest experience you can get to Forza or GT on a mobile device, I recommend Real Racing 3. This game is old, we're talking 2013 old, but new cars have been added over time which has kept the game feeling fresh. I also feel like the game runs better now than it did upon its release, no doubt benefiting from the hardware improvements our devices have seen over the years. A word of warning, this game can turn to a major time suck, but if you were looking for a mobile racing sim, this game is the game to get. If you're more into destroying vehicles than racing them, I recommend giving Cats Crash Arena Turbo Stars a try. Basically this game is BattleBots with cats. So if you like BattleBots and cats, look no further, your new favorite game has arrived. This game does have ads and in-app purchases, but it shouldn't infringe on your enjoyment too much. If the mashup idea of cats and battle bots doesn't get your blood flowing, then how about combining Angry Birds and Transformers? I admit this sounds like a weird combo, but I'm embarrassed to tell you how much time I have sunk into this game. It's like Super Mario Run, except you get to shoot pigs, transform, and listen to the dope soundtrack. A must for any Angry Birds or Transformers fans alike. There are in-app purchases, but they can be ignored. Speaking of Angry Birds, those games are all still around, and there are a ton of them. And honestly, they're still pretty fun, even with the occasional ad. Feel free to try a few of them out. Ever wanted to make your own game? If so, it would probably be a good idea to learn how to code. Grasshopper is as good a way as any to get started. It is an ad-free learning platform created by the great Google itself, and it does a pretty good job of starting you down the path of JavaScript programming. It's completely free with no strings attached. Now, if you ever wanted all the fun of making your own game without learning to code, you'd always try out Game Dev Tycoon and Game Dev Story. In both games, you start a game development company in the 80s and work your way into the modern era, trying to gain market share and millions along the way. Both games are very similar, so much so I have trouble recommending one over the other. The only real difference is while both games are normally priced at $4.99, Tycoon is free with the Google Play Pass. If you like the idea of creating things other than video games, then I recommend Minecraft. The mobile version of this game was a bit limited upon its release, but it has come a long way since then. It's $6.99, and yes, it has additional in-app purchases for things like skins and the like, but there aren't any mobile games out there with more content. Speaking of games that have added a lot of content since their release, you could always give Pokemon Go a try, or another try if you played this game back in the day. A lot of content has been added over the years and you might be impressed with the current amount of content the game now offers. The game devs are even working on modifications to the game so you can enjoy most of the experiences from the safety of home. This game is free to play with in-app purchases. 
If you are all about the tunes, you might want to give the guitar band Battle a try. If you are or were a fan of Rock Band or Guitar Hero, or if you just like rhythm games in general. Basically, you listen to music and try to tap along. It's a good time in small doses, just don't drive the people around you crazy with it. Guitar Band Battle is free with ads and in-app purchases. While we're on the topic of music, feel free to give Song Pop 2 a try. It's a music trivia game you can play with friends. So if you are wanting a music fix and a break from isolation, this game will take care of you. It's free with ads and in-app purchases. These purchases will give you an advantage, so you might want to make a gentleman's agreement with your friends to not use them. If you have a creative itch you need scratched, I recommend Scribble Knots. If you are not familiar with Scribble Knots, it's a hard game to explain. Basically, you solve puzzles using objects you can request. What objects can you request? Basically anything, which makes the game actually very challenging. There are two versions of the game, Remix from 2013 and Unlimited from 2018. I only ever played Remix, so I can't recommend one over the other. If any of you have a preference of one over the other, please feel free to put that down in the comments to help others. Both games go for $4.99. I've saved two of my favorites for last. The first is Bridge Constructor Portal. It's set in the same universe as Portal 1 and 2, so if you've played those games, you will recognize the characters and that classic GLaDOS snark, but that is where the similarities end. Basically, as the name implies, you build bridges to get from points A to B. It's more hardcore than it sounds, but once you get used to the game's physics, it's a lot of fun. Best of all, it's only $1.99 or free with a play pass. Finally, we wrap up our list with XCOM Enemy Within. This is one of my all-time favorite turn-based strategy games. I've played both the PC and mobile versions of this game, and I have to say they did an excellent job with the mobile version. All the best bits are here. It's a bit on the hardcore side, but if you are a gamer and you like strategic thinking, this game is a must-play. It will set you back $4.99. So that does it for my suggestions. What are your suggestions? How have you guys been passing the time over the course of the last week or two? Please drop those ideas down in the comments so other people can benefit from them. As always, I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.